Angered by the deadly violence and the humanitarian crisis resulting from Russia's war on Ukraine, some Americans are taking it out on Russian businesses and brands in New York and other parts of the United States. Abel Bilara has the details. With the intense conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Russian businesses are facing boycotts, threatening voicemail messages, and even negative reviews here in the city despite their support to stop the war. Business owners and experts say it's the most intense anti-Russian sentiment they've seen. They also call the behavior irrational and misplaced, especially when so many owners are denouncing Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion and supporting Ukraine. Not to mention the fact that some are not even Russian. The first day the war began, we lost 20 reservations. Uh, we were down 60, 70 percent, and it took the press in order to educate and to convey this message that we are not the bad guys. We, this is not Russian, Russian people's war. This is Putin's war. Uh, we, we're all here standing in solidarity with all our, our brothers and sisters from Ukraine, Belarus, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Georgia, Russia, all, all these things. And uh, I think now a lot of Americans, especially in New York, the, the, the camaraderie is definitely coming together and helping. Yeah. The owner of a popular Russian cocktail bar in New York assured in Thursday that since the Russian offensive began in Ukraine, lost around 60% of his clientele. The businessman, with both Ukrainian and Russian background, ensures his establishment receives daily hateful messages. I mean, it's very conflicting. My, myself being half Ukrainian, half Russian, first-generation American, running a three-generation Russian establishment. Uh, Russian Samovar was never designed to be a Russian restaurant. It was created as a safe haven for everybody fleeing the oppression of the Soviet Union. Um, you know, this, uh, this place is very special to a lot of people. And what it, the message I keep trying to convey to people is just because you are a Russian establishment does not mean that you're cutting a check to Putin or his regime. Uh, we are completely against the war and we have many Ukrainians that work with us. And uh, we're doing everything we can to stand in solidarity and, uh, and do anything we can to help them and their people over there. Consumer anger has been misdirected in the past. After the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, many Middle Eastern businesses suffered when customers aimed their hostility at them. In the years since, social media has made it easier for people to protest and organize boycotts via hashtags, but the lack of context also makes it easier to get things wrong. Businesses and experts say this is another round of Russia phobia, and they are asking the public to be more compassionate, especially that businesses are just getting back on their feet because of the pandemic, and they also want the war to end. This is Abel Bilara, reporting from New York City, New York, SMNI News, USA. Subscribe to SMNI News Channel and turn on notification button for more news updates.